Well, it's uh, December 21st, and uh, this is the GNU's uh, special. I won the GNU's Man of the uh, Year award. Uh, yeah, it was awarded by um, the GNU's staff, and uh, yeah, I'm very proud of it. And uh, I know it looks just like the biggest asshole in the universe award, uh, but that's just a coincidence. You know, I guess they buy the awards at the same award store. Um, so anyway, in the news today, uh, boy, the news was really boring. Or, or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just, you know, uh, there is a fog, you know, because it's the cigarette thing. It's really getting on my nerves. I'm really running. I'm running out of cigarettes, and it's, you know, it's getting difficult. Um, so anyway, uh, this New Orleans thing, there was this uh, problem because the, you know, the people in New Orleans are want their cheap housing back, and but they have to demolish it, and, and they call it, um, I just find it funny, they say call it, they said it was okay to raise the public housing, and they use the word raise when they want to tear it down. I just thought that was kind of a, you know, it's always been kind of a funny word, that raise, you know, it's like, that's like, that double speak from 1984 or something like you know you're raising when you're tearing down you know you're doing somebody a favor because you're well anyway um so anyway yeah they say they're going to put up some new public housing that will be more diverse in terms of the income people in the projects i guess you'd call them and uh, i guess the plan is there you know you have a little more expensive houses they'll make sure the other people don't fuck everything up um but anyway controversy there taserings and such going on so you know but yeah it's hard hard to know what side to fall on and that kind of stuff uh i mean i empathize with poor people but you know poor people can be such a pain in the ass um so anyway this uh, obama he says um he's kind of disappointed by the sour tone of the campaign kind of surprised by that i guess like it doesn't happen every four years uh <laughs> You know, but he has bubbled his children, so they're bubbled away, so they're in a protective bubble, not to be soured by the sourness, and uh, that's probably a good thing. You don't want to sour them with the presidential campaign atmosphere, um, you know, that would might spoil them getting some of that real America kind of flavor for things, so keep them well bubbled, keep them insulated from, you know, American reality, this is a good idea can't have too much American reality infecting one's children um, okay uh, Iraq or Iraq um, what the hell oh yeah they, they found some uh, Al Qaeda you know uh, torturing dungeon they called it I don't think it was really a dungeon I think it's a shack um, but anyway um, and uh, it was just kind of weird because it was like they had I don't know, they were pointing out that it was like in Iraq, like Al-Qaeda in Iraq, like like Al-Qaeda could be in other places, and so they had to make the distinction that was the Al-Qaeda in Iraq torture chamber found in Iraq. But I don't know why the Al-Qaeda of, like, Indonesia would have their torture chamber in Iraq. So, well, anyway, I don't know. It's just whatever. Torture, not a good thing. Uh, but, you know, we're saying it's the proper way to handle the situation. Um, okay, the president is claims in a news conference, you know, when he's kind of having a news conference to celebrate his, you know, victory over the evil Democratic Congress. And, um, but, you know, he did get asked about this nasty torture business. And uh, the, uh, we're racing the tape, and he says he's not, you know, he's not being ambiguous on the fact that he doesn't recall. You know, so he's not ambiguous on that point. He just, you know, he doesn't recall telling them to delete, you know, erase a torture tape. I mean, he's always called upon to erase stuff. So, I mean, it's, you know, how's he going to remember everything he has erased? Uh, fucking, you know, who can buy this bullshit? Um, so this, uh, oh, Giuliani, there was a story about him, the AP. Uh, apparently they found that he took a lot of stuff out of New York City when he left and uh, he was very secretive and didn't have very open government and blah blah blah. He didn't have a government. He had a soap opera. I mean, you know, people remember back before 9-11. I mean, it's just every day in the paper was crap about this guy's mess of a personal life. Complete disaster. And look at after 9-11. He gets paid a couple million dollars by the Mexicans to go over there and design them a security system yeah right 
<laughs> oh, come on. Oh, whatever. Uh, so then the other story, I mean, it was like, there was like multi-versions of this story because the, uh, the Britney Spears sister, I guess her name is Jamie Lee or something, um, she's pregnant, you know, she's 16, by some 90-year-old uh, pipe layer. I don't know what a pipe layer exactly, a pipe, pipe layer? Pipe layer, it sounds a little, well, whatever. Um, yeah, 19, and, uh, whoops. <laughs> And I don't know when maybe she was not quite 16. I uh, who knows, but who cares? I mean, it's all you know. And so now they're debating Nickelodeon, I guess, when it, these these kid networks that well, maybe they'll do a show on teen pregnancy, you know, so they can explain the impossible to explain. Um, like while it's okay for celebrities to get pregnant when they're 16, it's probably not okay for you to do it. Uh, but whatever. I mean, yes, just the whole, you know, the whole idea is just so obscene. Um, uh, well, the, the fact that it's a story in the news, I mean, oh, God. These reckless, sloppy people with their reckless, sloppy lives. And then they mimic each other. Like, they don't see the example already of the fucked upness. And then they said, yes, I'll be just as big a fuck up. Because I don't want to have a fuck up gap. I want to be just as big a disaster as my wonderful sister. And I want to be shaving my head soon too. <sighs> so whatever, that's the news. Um, there's other news, but I, you know, I'm not going to do a long news because I'm only doing this because it's, you know, the holiday season. All the other news is like on Christmas vacation. So somebody's got to do the fucking news. But I'm really not in the news mood. So, you know, I'll try to do better. Oh, I'm pulling on my ear. What the hell is that? Carol Burnett. Uh, whatever. <laughs> what did she used to say? Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I don't know. What did she, she say? She used to pull out her ear. Something. She said something. Something happy. You know. Peace the fuck out. <laughs>